Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, let's take a look what is going on currently on the forex market and um, the weekly research on the current week I have decided to dedicate to the Japanese yen since the situation uh, on the yen is very intriguing and interesting and in fact currently the Japanese yen uh, from the technical point of view is just a gold mine for different contexts. As for long term trading for those traders who hold position uh, within the months uh, all, for those who trade on the daily time frame on the intraday charts so the la here a lot of context for trading the harmonic patrons, Joe Napoli patrons so in fact the Japanese yen is very interesting uh, as from the technical point of view as from the fundamental point of view well um, I have prepared the significant part of the fundament fundamental view on the situation on the uh, Japanese yen so if you would like to read it you could visit our forum the link uh, on this thread you could see currently on the uh, on your screen well also you will find the analysis of the longer charts of the monthly chart on the weekly time frame because they in fact put the foundation for the all further action on the Japanese yen in the daily video research we will just discuss the short term perspective and particularly what patterns we will have to watch for in the beginning of the week to uh, do not miss the potential entry point for a long entry since um, despite the moment that long-term charts point on the possible further appreciation of the Japanese yen uh, during the second half of the current year, currently market stands at a significant level of resistance and, and deep over uh, and strongly ever bought on the monthly time frame. And in fact, by this reason, you can see that Japanese yen has started the significant retracement, mm. and um, this retracement put this. Uh, put for us the great foundation for possible long trade since uh, th since this could this could be uh, the great opportunity to use to ride on the momentum on previous momentum uh, that has held on the monthly time frame that was to the upside since you know all, you probably all know the jump on the Japanese yen to the upside the upward momentum currently is significant that's why the first moment first retracement to the downside probably will be buy out by new participants who will try to take the long position and we could count on bounce up in fact we have the uh, brand brand body context on the weekly time frame and we have discussed in our uh, video research on Friday so if you would like to re remind it recall it probably you could just view this daily video again well um, in fact we think that the possible bounce to the upside could happen during the Tuesday, Wednesday when the FOMC meeting will happen and uh, the FOMC meeting if Fed will announce some new some news a new look on its uh, quantitative easing program could be the triggering factor the trigger for potential uh, strong movements on the forex markets and Japanese yen is also can't be excluded from this group and uh, in fact the trade that we have that we expect currently the brand body trade on the weekly time frame could start uh, from some nearest level this is possible from that perspective we have to estimate first of all the patrons that could lead uh, could let us to stick with them and use them as the potential triggering patron for taking the long position that will let us to understand where to place the up orders uh, where to, we have to enter on the long side of the market well and also it could point on some support levels um, that we should watch for as the potential levels of this where the trade to the upside could start first level to watch for I suppose will be somewhere around this area because that is you could see ultimate 127 extension of this butterfly cell okay and you can see that also our market is strongly over oversold on the daily time frame 
If you will take a look at the weekly time frame, this level is 93.50 approximately. You can see that is the major 3.8 support from that low to this high. That is what we want, is that level. Uh, the, the, we need to see how market will reach the significant support. And that is the first level to watch for. Also, another level to watch is 90, approximately 90, 50, 90, 60 area, because that is the 50% support. This level probably has less chances to be reached by price action since uh, Japanese yen is hardly ever sold currently. But since this move is driven by mostly by the fundamental factors, the some continuation to the downside is possible. Besides, if we'll take a look at the daily time frame, we'll see that ABCD target of this lightning bolt move stands very close to this area as well. Currently, market has hit the minor target, the 618 extension of this ABCD, but no reaction has followed after that. That makes me think that probably market will proceed lower, gradual move lower could happen on the coming week. And in fact, this area between these levels is the area that we will have to look for as the potential reversal moments. If we will take a look at the 4-hour time frame, we have here more clear patterns. First of all, we see this butterfly that's now is forming. Market has hit 127, shallow extension, retracement. Okay, market reestablished move to the downside. Also, if we will draw the MACD indicator, predictor, we'll see here, just a moment, I'll make it a bit thicker. Okay, we'll see here the bearish dynamic pressure is forming. Since this is, uh, you can see the trend has shifted to the bullish side, but price action continue move down. This makes me think that this loss will be taken out by the price action, and that simultaneously probably means that market will proceed lower to the 1618 extension. That extension stands around 9230 area. Also, if you will draw the simple MACD indicator, you will see the bullish MACD divergence right at the major trade support on the weekly time frame. So here, between these bottoms, you will see the bullish divergence is forming. And overall price action looks like the, you can see, it's housing pattern, that is bullish wedge pattern is forming. A lot of different signs that points of this housing on the market stands here. Butterflies, divergence, uh, wedge pattern is developing here. So this points that some bounce should happen. And this uh, bounce should happen somewhere uh, in the nearest area, I suppose. If we will take a look at the hourly time frame, we will see another pattern. It's right here. That is a smaller butterfly that also has the 1618 extension target at the same area. It's one, around one, around 92, uh, probably 25, 92, 30 areas right here. If we will take a look at the daily time frame again, we will see that this area. It's very close to the target of the EBCD pattern. So um, I think that area around 9080, 9180, somewhere in this area, we should keep an eye on uh, and keep an eye on these butterflies as the potential reversal patterns. So we need to see that market will start some upward action from this area um, because this area could become the level where that weekly brand by the trade could start and the target with this pattern will be right here. It's around 100 even. So that will be probably not small move to the upside. The fact that this pattern will be weekly uh, and based on the weekly time frame, we do not need to hurry up with the entry. Even if we will miss the entry somewhere in this area, that will be not a big problem because the distance to the target is significant and we will be able to enter on some small retracement when even when the market will start move to the upside. We could apply some kind of the Jordan Apple Mind Sweeper technique that we have discussed in the previous week. Well, we will have uh, a lot of chances, I suppose, to possess ourselves on the potential bullish move to the upside. For us, so the major event is that this bullish move will start at 12. That will be uh, very significant. But still, in the short-term perspective, uh, in the beginning of the week, let's be focused on these patterns and watch for this level, 91.80, 92.50 area, somewhere in this area, because the reversal could happen somewhere 
around it. As usual, if market will show some really fast acceleration through it, some fast move to the downside, don't take long position. Wait for further clarification because market by this action could reach some deeper support level. For instance, 50% uh, support could proceed to this area before BNB has, will start on weekly time frame. That is possible. That's why uh, do not stick uh, blindly to this area. Look at the how market will respond around it. Uh, we need some gradual move to this area and fast acceleration up. That will be absolutely perfect. So we will keep an eye on this situation on the Japanese yen. We will definitely uh, prepare some updates if the situation will demand it. Also, uh, since this research is dedicated to the Japanese yen, it doesn't mean that we will abandon the euro currency. Uh, it's just uh, mean that currently on the euro currency, it's not much events uh, has happened, and the situation is not as, in, as interesting as in the Japanese yen. If some significant moves, uh, moves and changes will happen on the euro currency, we will definitely return to the discussion of this pair because uh, our major objective with our research is with our uh, part of the forum is the euro currency. So let's see how it will turn. I hope that we will get a lot of opportunities for trading on the beginning of the week. So let's be focused on the Japanese yen since the situation here is really very interesting.